everybody. Hey, hey. Hey, guys. We're here. Gentlemen. Yolanda. We are the connected relationship. We are. We and are. Hit, check this out. Look, at our office, mm -hmm. when we're not seeing someone that's mm -hmm. who lays on the couch, mm -hmm. Hobbs. That's his go-to spot, man. That's his he loves favorite that spot. spot. Yep. He lay so, there all day. So clearly we couldn't sit on the couch because we were there. <laughs> right? That's why we're at a table. <laughs> that's why we're not on the couch. <laughs> Anyway, we've been talking about couples coaching. Yeah, yeah it's oh, one of the things that we do. Kinds of stuff that go with it. And all of its glory. All of its glory, because yeah. that's what we do. Right. Yeah, so we've talked about, if you are new to joining us, we've talked about how to find a couples coach. Yeah. Questions to ask. Them. Questions to ask during a consultation, like right. all of those good things. Asking for a free consultation, mm -hmm. you know, all those kind of things. Mm -hmm. What and to expect. What to expect. And um, so today we thought that we would tackle some of the biggest myths right? about couples coaching. At least five of the biggest myths. The top five. The top five, as we see them. Yeah. Right? So, without further ado, number one. Number one. Only desperate couples get coaching. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> no. So that's the whole premise of coaching, right? I right. mean, the idea is to... Kind of beef up your relationship skills mm -hmm. and get some help before before, before things become crisis. Before it needs crisis. to become desperate right. in crisis, right? Because I would say a lot of the couples that we see in our Harper therapy practice that for therapy for, for therapy, therapy, yes, for couples therapy, they're at that point, mm -hmm. right? I mean, there's a desperation in the relationship because mm -hmm. it's broke. Usually, it it is. Just like with anything else, just like with maintenance with your car. If right. you take it in for regular maintenance, regular oil changes, look right? That would seem, I know, look. Grease see my monkey metaphors? Yolanda. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that, that, that will keep your car from falling apart. Right, and it can keep your relationship from falling apart. The same for coaching. You don't need to be desperate. And the, the fact of the matter is all of us have challenges with our relationship. I mean, you're not human. Right. Um, like, no relationship is perfect and no relationship yeah, is absolutely. without its challenges. Right. But the it's ours, you know, we've learned right. over the years <laughs> ours is not a perfect relationship. It's not. Um, it, the, the difference is, you know, is that we believe in the preventative maintenance. Right, right. And we take the time to put it in there. Right. It makes a huge difference in the long run. Yeah. So, so myth number two. Des desperate, yeah. Right? So, someone who doesn't know us can't help us. Right. Mm, that's not true either. Right. right. I mean, a lot of the same common, or a lot of the same problems we see in relationships, even though everybody's relationship is absolutely unique to them. Right. A lot of the problems are very common. Right. Um, you know, I think one of the biggest things that we hear is we would like to improve our communication. Right. That is a common denominator, right? right? Um, so that's something that we speak to in the coaching that we do. And guess what? Like coaching is a relationship in and of itself. So we spend time getting to know the couples that we coach, right. their unique dynamics, their unique strengths and opportunities for you know growth in their relationships. So, right, right. Yeah. But I mean, a lot of these common problems, you know, you have financial problems Finances. in relationships, you have intimacy problems in relationships, and tr sex is very important to relationships. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Intimacy, um, um, extended job, family, job, raising right. children, what we call mm -hmm. the messy middle when mm -hmm. life gets really busy. Extended family dynamics. Right, right. I mean, there's um, a lot of problems. Work, work, right. Life balance, those kinds of things, yeah. Absolutely. So, myth number three. So, the couple's coaches will take sides. I'll only take the good person's side. That's all. <laughs> the right person. The right side. person's side. <laughs> <laughs> so here's a dirty little secret that they don't that mm -hmm. they like coaches and, and therapists um, don't tell you. Um, well, I don't know. You this get is, a dirty secret. Let's yeah, hear it. Let's yeah, hear it. this is kind of unique to the way that we operate, right? Mm -hmm. We do take sides. We do. We take the side of your relationship. Right. Right. Well, that's a cop out. Whatever, keep going. <laughs> Would you like to speak? No, to no, 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 no. I want you to speak to it, please. <laughs> <laughs> so we are going to 
help your relationship. Your relationship and helping you improve your relationship is top priority. Right. And we'll address the, the issues on both sides of the aisle, right. so to speak, right. that are going to get you to that end game, to get you the results that you're wanting. So at times, you, you both will find yourself as a target a little bit. Not a target. Well, target's maybe a harsh word. But... Target is a big word. But right. yes, we'll address... You know, each of us have our own percentage of things that we bring to the relationship, right? right. Some With some things, it's, you know, 20, 80. With other things, it's 45, 50, you know. So right. we are willing to take a look at the whole cohesive piece. The gestalt. The gestalt of the relationship. You like that word? Mm -hmm. Gestalt. That's a good one. Right. So I guess our next myth is number four, is that we should be able to fix this on our own. Mm -hmm. Like, we shouldn't need any help. We shouldn't, mm -hmm. you know, we've got this. How's that working out for you? I save that, <laughs> that one for the people I love and care about the most. But honestly, like, the research shows that most couples are in distress for seven years before they get help. And right. that's the couples that make it, you know, that far. Right. So here's the thing. With, with all of us, if we could have done it on our own, we would have by this point, right. right? It's not like you haven't tried. You've tried so many different things. You've tried right. reading the books. You've tried, tried talking to friends. You've going tried to talking to, you know. going, you know, going to the conferences, listening to the podcasts, right. um, talking with clergy members, you know, right. like you've tried those things. Um, and there's still a challenge and there's still the struggle and it doesn't have to be doesn't have to be so effortful right. relationships are work period. absolutely and they're absolutely. always going to be they are but it doesn't have to be so effortful right effortful. we can help we can make it easeful yeah we can help do that mm -hmm. so then our last myth is that it just takes too long couples coaching takes forever and i think you actually kind of alluded to this a second ago because yeah. you said the average seven years what'd you say the average couples yeah. is in distress is for in seven distress years. for seven years yeah. before they get help yeah and so you're fighting that long through, mm -hmm. on average, before you get some help. Mm -hmm. Whereas our, our program's like six months, six months. You do the math. Right. So, five myths. Five myths. Are you ready for us to debunk, debunk, debunk? Debunk, 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 debunk. That sound like the, <laughs> I sound like the, uh, Oh, I don't even know what I'm, t I'm thinking. The Muppet Show. The Swedish Show. Yes, you know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so we've debunked these myths. Mm -hmm. If there's some other ones or if there are other questions that you have, sign up for a free consultation so we can help address those questions as well so that you can right. make the best decision for your relationship. Absolutely. Cost you nothing to sign up for a free, free consultation. consultation. Have a good week, guys.